show for Speakeasy was Blackbird, and I actually only came in and did laundry. I wasn't backstage at all. And then my next show was Jerry Springer, which was a large show. And after that, I just couldn't leave, so I've been here since then. In the next room is about a doctor in the late 1800s who uses electrical massage to cure hysteria in women. My main job as wardrobe supervisor is caring and maintaining costumes which includes laundry and any small repairs that come up, um, if things rip or break. It's my job to make sure that they get fixed and that the actor's comfortable in it and can go on stage. Right now what's happened is um, one of the drawstrings on some underpants is uh, shredding, so we're going to replace it. For this show, two, our two leading ladies wear hair pieces, so Part of my daily routine here is to go up at half hour and pin in their hair and, you know, put on their wig pieces, which are actually right here, and their nice little curly bits. This is one of our backstage quick change areas. So what would happen here is an actor would exit our stage door, which is right behind me, and come down these stairs and quickly run over here and it's very, very dark, so we're both waiting here with flashlights, and um, we have their costumes ready, usually kind of draped around ourselves, and it's about 30 seconds maybe to get someone completely undone, you know, out of their jacket, out of their top, out of their skirt, and redressed, and so it's a lot to do. One of the big differences about working on in the next room is that the costumes are really detailed and it is a period piece so there's a lot of layering there's you know maybe not as much laundry every night as the modern show but there is you know a lot to be dry cleaned you know you're constantly checking things like hems and making sure that all of the hooks and bars are still on and intact and everything's going to work for the show i find that one of the biggest differences between the Victorian era and, you know, our world today is all of the underwear. Um, there's a lot of underwear in this show and it's really surprising even to me who, you know, someone who does costumes, but the layers that people had to just wear under their clothes is crazy. You know, you have pantaloons and a petticoat and a corset and uh, undershirt, under your corset, all just to go under your big fancy dress. Um, the women are also wearing bustles, um, so it's just, it's a lot of layering that, you know, we get dressed now and maybe we throw on jeans and a t-shirt and we're out the door, but it's pretty crazy to think about.